is May 2013 and BMAX is in the Port of Santos in Brazil. We chartered the Pacific Bulk. Pacific Bulk is the Chinese uh, the operator. They charter and they have the cargo contract with the drivers. The drivers hired to carry the cargoes. Now, drivers is big. They are global merchants involved in agriculture, food processing, international shipping, and finance. Back then, Dreyfus and three of the other major agribusinesses, Cargill, Bangi, and ADM, controlled 70% of the world's grains. One of them was soybean, and trade was booming. A billion dollars worth annually to consumers overseas. BMAX was going to be used to transport 66,000 tons of soybean from Brazil to China that big load of soybeans. So BMAX, she start loading. Normally loaded 24 hours, and normally loaded like 15,000 an hour in two, three days, and uh, you, you finished. But the funny thing was the loaded took more than 10 days, and only loaded in the evening. And they loaded 5,000 tons more than usual. Because BMAX hole is so well designed, it has the capacity. Here's where it starts to get interesting. You see, Dreyfus had sold some of the beans to Cargill. And Cargill wanted to know why loading was taking so long. When they got to the loading terminal, they saw that some of the soybeans were damaged. They say, oh, this is, uh, this is the garbage. This is basically SHIT. So they say, SHIT, I don't like it. So they wouldn't sign the bill of lading, which is the legal required export receipt, detailing the exact amount of cargo after surveyor stamped it. They refused to sign the cargo. Why should they? I wouldn't. Cargo was damaged cargo. So they go to the call, say that this is SHIT, so that uh, the, we, we don't like this cargo. They claim this in, in, the, in, the, in the Brazil court. The harbor master gets told the ship has been arrested, but nobody tells me. Why? I should have been told. Anyway, the captain who was kept in harbor for two months and wanted to get home said, yes, the cargo is okay. It was nearly 70 days before BMAX set sail for China. What happened next was even worse. Cargo smuggling, damaged cargo insurance, collusion, money laundry, this is more than Sherlock Holmes. 